What is up guys, I am Howie and this is the Go Ride channel where I strive to publish two videos a week on motorcycle content of all types. That's news, vlogs, how-tos, rides, etc. If you find this in the least bit interesting or helpful, please smash that like and subscribe button, really appreciate it. All right guys, in today's video, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna address one of the main issues that I have with the CRF230F and that's the position of the mixture screw or pilot screw on a four stroke on the carburetor. It's actually right down under here, which makes it next to impossible to do a hot adjustment. Let me show you. The mixture screw is right there, which makes it next to impossible to do a hot adjustment. You've got an exhaust pipe, a crankcase, you can't really get a screwdriver in there to count turns. Very irritating. Just for reference, this is the mixture screw on my KDX. Much easier to get to. It's like they thought you might actually want to tune your bike. This is how I hope to solve the problem. This is an extended mixture screw for the bike. I'm hoping that it makes it easier for me to get in there with fingers and tune the bike when it's warm. So to do that, I'm gonna do a little how-to on swapping the screws out. To do this, you don't have to dismount the carburetor completely from the bike. You just need to remove the um, airbox and throttle boots and turn the carb out so that way you can access the mixture screw. To do that, it's much easier to have the seat and fuel tank off it, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull those off now. Obviously, the seat's already off. I'm gonna take the fuel tank off. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and drain the carburetor. Smooth move x lax I just drained it all onto the ground. Nailed it. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the vapor hose from uh, under where the fuel tank goes. Then I'll go ahead and uh, loosen these two clamps here, rotate the carb outward. That's gonna give me access to this mixture screw. If you have a good running bike and it's in tune, which I do not, if you have a good running bike and it's in tune, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and bottom this screw out and count the number of turns within like an eighth of a turn that it takes to bottom it out up. Um, if for some reason, like me, you don't, you forget to do it or whatever, you're gonna to have to do a hot adjustment on the bike. I'm gonna do another how-to video on the hot adjustment, but right now, my air cleaner is wet because I'm cleaning it, so I'm not gonna be able to do that right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and yank this out, but remember, if you have a good running bike and it's well-tuned, you wanna just go ahead and count your turns in and out. When you pull your old screw out, know that there's a little O-ring and typically a washer in there very tiny. I bought my screw from CRFs only and so they provide a kit where they have a new o-ring washer and spring for like an additional eight bucks. If you don't go for that kit make sure you salvage those things and make sure they're in good condition. So at this point it's good practice to just do a quick trial fit on the new screw. No spring, no washer, no o-ring. At this point, I can go ahead and assemble my new mixture screw. I'm gonna put a light grease, layer of grease on the threads, and then just a little bit to make the O-ring shiny, I'm gonna be using just dielectric grease because it's pretty innocuous. Um, the way that assembles is you put the spring on, then this little washer, then the O-ring, and then that all threads up into the body of the carburetor.
So I ran it in until it bought them. I'm gonna go ahead and just run it out um, one full turn, which will get me close enough. And now I'm gonna go ahead and reassemble the bike. All right, at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and just test fire the bike to make sure that there's still life there, make sure that I didn't do anything horribly wrong. I can't really do a full on tune on the bike because I have the air box off, air cleaner off, getting cleaned, but I just wanna make sure everything's good. So there's still life there, which is good. Like I said, a subsequent video, I'm gonna do a hot adjustment, show you how to just quickly tune the carburetor, provided you have the right size jets. And uh, with that guys, get out there, go ride. Like I said in the beginning of the video, if you found this remotely interesting or helpful, please smash that like and subscribe button. Lots of content, like I said, I try to publish twice a week. Ducatis, Kawasaki's, Hondas, got an adventure bike coming, got some rides coming up. So. Get out there, go ride. If I see you out there, I will wave. Peace.